Very excited about this week's podcast. If you want to work in an industry where you can really help people influence their health and make a difference every day, then the fitness industry is for you. Let's rip in. Welcome to the Body Science Podcast, bringing you everything you need, want, and should know about health, fitness, nutrition, and training. As always, the information contained in this podcast is for the information purposes only and is not designed to diagnose or be prescriptive to treat, prevent, or manage any injury, disease, or other health related condition. <laughs> Today's podcast is brought to you by Hydroxyburn Shred Ultra, nootropic thermogenic. Shred Ultra is scientifically engineered to shred body fat, ignite metabolism, and boost all-day energy while enhancing cognitive performance, focus, clarity, and mood. It combines powerful fat-burning thermogenics, garcinia, green coffee bean, guarana, caffeine, and an industry-leading four grams of acetyl L-carnitine with potent nootropic ingredients at effective therapeutic doses to give you maximum results. Welcome to Body Science, the world of fit, happy, and healthy. And today we have the number one educators of fitness. Fitness professionals? Professionals. Yeah. I like that word. It's mm. nice to add that around the fitness industry in Australia. The guys from AF, we've got the two big dogs. <laughs> we've got Simon, who I met probably three or four months ago. Before COVID. And yeah. And we yeah. started talking about changing the world. Yeah. And he has brought down the head of training, Katie. How are you? Yeah, very well. Thanks. Head of training. You have a lot of people that you're training at the moment. That's a big job to hold. <laughs> it is a big drop. Uh Thankfully, I have a bunch of amazing uh, trainers that I work really closely with that are on the ground uh, doing doing the interactions every day and supporting the next wave of fitness professionals. So yeah, I, I definitely can't take the credit for that. I just kind of help them and support them when I can. Just so people can understand, what type of impact have you had on the industry? Like how many people are we talking have chosen their profession through you? Well, we've been around forever. Since uh, 1979 was the first inception of the AIF. That's amazing. It is amazing. Yeah. It's something to be really proud of and we are. Um, it's over 60,000 fitness professionals we've created. Wow. Yeah. And like our CEO likes to say, when you think about all the people they've trained and inspired and uh, gone, on to, yeah, mm. gone on to be healthier and happier and then how that affects the people around them as well. Yeah. It's it's definitely motivating for us to think about it in that in that way. It's so good to be part of something that makes change. I mean, definitely. you must love going to work every day like we do. You know, you're making change with people. Yeah. Oh, we we Funnily love enough, it. We, we don't call it work. We call it play. Yeah, so it's we quite, call it play. There you go. Quite That's good. That good. Way. Yeah, <laughs> pay for play though. Pay for play. We uh, <laughs> we all love the fact that you can actually, and I'm not joking when I say that you can actually make money in the fitness industry now. I mean, that's a really great thing, and and you've helped bring in a whole lot of standards that have protected the people that you're actually educating as well, isn't it? Like you know, do you want to go through the process of why you need to get a cert three, a cert four to actually work safely in the industry and and for, for your customers as well? Yeah, definitely. Do you want me to take this one? You, it's all yours. You're the expert. <laughs> It is an interesting industry because it, technically you don't need to have a qualification to be a personal trainer or a fitness professional, but you'd really struggle to get decent priced insurance if yeah. you didn't have that. So we definitely believe that quality education is super important, not just to get your minimum qualification, but even to continue on in the industry to make sure you're always at the top of your game. So certainly the, the, the base of the entry level qualifications, the certificate three and four in fitness, really important that we get the basics right. You know, it's all the things about safety, and risk management, understanding how to screen your clients so yep. you can kind of see if they have any pre-existing conditions that may um, have them at a higher risk of injury because that's, you know, that's the number one rule in personal training. Don't injure your client. Absolutely. And then obviously on top of all of that is learning all the foundations of exercise, form and technique, how important that is, not just doing it yourself. Yep. I think most people when they come and do the course, they're passionate about fitness so they can do all the basics really well. But what they can't do is teach somebody else how to do it. That's a total other skill. So so we're all about teaching people to do that really effectively. Uh, programming, one-on-one uh, -on -one motivation, group motivation, behavioral change, the psychology behind it. I mean, it, it's massive, really. So we don't have people long enough to kind of teach them every element of that, but we're teaching them the basics really effectively. We're teaching them about this kind of culture of ongoing education. So understanding this is just the start of your journey as a fitness professional. And I think more than anything at the AAF, we're teaching people to have an open mind. We're teaching people to critically analyze, to kind of like not just take information from anybody, kind mm -hmm. of listen to everybody, but um, do your own research and um, make great decisions that are in the best interest of your clients. Nice. And when someone becomes a qualified AIF trainer, what happens after they graduate? You can take this one, Simon. Yeah, look, I think I'll tap onto what Kate said. Not only the, the physical side of things that we teach, it's there's business components of what we teach as well. So yes, you may be the best person to have how to 
teach someone a squat, but we also, in throughout our course, teach them how to actually make a business out of that. You said at the start, there is definitely money to be made yeah, in exactly. the fitness industry, but teaching them how those opportunities become available to them, where we we fit into our career opportunities and we teach them how to run a business, yep. which is a great asset. Yeah, I think it's two-minded. Yes, you can be a great trainer, but you can be a great trainer without clients. You can be a great trainer with clients. Yes. I th- one I th- of them makes money. Yeah. Like the second one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think an unfortunate statistic of the industry is that a lot of PTs don't last the first year. And that's because, again, they get out there and even they can write fantastic creative programs mm. that are really engaging for their clients, but actually getting that kind of critical mass of clients to be profitable and cover all of your costs can be quite challenging. So again, we're all about upskilling with business and making them understand the importance of that and, and giving people the confidence to actually get on the gym floor and have a conversation about the service that they have mm. to offer. I think as humans, we don't like to ask people for money, yep. most of us anyway. So it's about kind of seeing what you have to offer is of such immense value that don't feel bad to ask 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 bucks for a session. You know, you're not just giving people a session, you're giving people more energy and feeling better about their bodies, longer life, health, just, you know, all the amazing things that come with being physically active. So somebody signed up with you, they can sign up online, they can, you've got a lot of, you've got uh, major city presences as well. So someone signs up with you, how long does it actually take to become a PT? So it depends on the modality that you choose to do your study. And we have a range of options to suit people. If you come in and do our intensive on-campus option, then you'll be out in around 17 weeks. Yep. Um, you can get going. There's a midpoint in that where you'll actually finish with the certificate three in fitness. So you can actually earn while you learn, yeah, we nice. like to say, yeah, nice. um, which is really great as well because you can go out and do the kind of group training and start to get people that are really keen to mm. train with you based on your personality and your skills. We have longer options all the way up to a kind of fully self-paced online option that takes around a year to do. Mm-hmm. And then we have an option called Online Plus, which is uh, about in, in the middle that still has that flexibility for people that are working full-time hours. You, you've got a little bit more face-to-face via, even though it's virtual, yep. uh, support from coaches along the way. And what am I, what, what, I mean, it's COVID, let's yep. be honest. What's that done to AIF? Has, has it changed the type of student you get? I'd say no. I think it's probably opened up more opportunity for those ones that have changed their working environment. So the ones that are working from home, they can adapt their day. That works with both client going to the gym and someone doing our course. We've given them more options to be able to get qualified. And if they are on the verge of changing careers, this has probably pushed them towards, I can study now, yep. still work doing my current job, then get my qualifications, push that aside. And then now I can go into what I really want to do. And you've got a lot, a lot of your student bases doing that? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. We, we did, we've, we've got a lot of online, probably more than what we expected since the start of what COVID has done. So yeah. isn't it great that people look into the fitness industry to grow themselves yep. during COVID? Yeah. yeah. I think it's just given us all a massive wake up call as to how important our health is. And I think, you know, with the rush of people buying equipment when they couldn't hit the gym, <laughs> Still rushing. It's it was of, hard to get. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of like you realize how much you love something, but it's taken away from you. And then now the gyms are open here in um, Queensland, at least. Then, you know, people are getting back and mm. feel kind of re-energized with that situation. And, yeah. you know, I think having the freedom to move your body in every way that you want is something that we have a bit of a renewed energy for. So if anything, I think obviously things are tough in lots of different ways, but we're actually really hopeful that, you know, it's going to be better than ever for, for our industry in the long run. Yeah. And as someone and said a lot of people have a lot of PTs have kind of it kind of COVID kind of ended their careers yep. unfortunately so now um, the gyms that are back open There's talking to Simon going yeah. hey we need we need trainers where are the trainers and we kind of can't keep up with the how band. good is that every day and I think the clientele wise there's a looking at your basketball single in the background is in a basketball term is your best uh, your best offense is your defense. Yep. yep. I think flipping that around, your best defense is your offense. So if you're looking after yourself, I think in this COVID situation, people are really looking after themselves and their mindsets are changing. There's more people going back to the gyms. In all the gyms that I talk to, they're back to 80% capacity within Queensland. Yep. Other states, unfortunately, are a little bit behind. Mm-hmm. But 50% of the PTs have not returned. So is that right? you're looking at a club that might have two thousand members you know 80 percent of their clientele have come back but with only 50 percent of those pts anywhere from you know 12 to 24 pts in some of these big gyms there's an abundance of opportunity for pts that are just waiting for clientele that's amazing that's so, it's so good to know that you know during covid you could have I, I get a gym owner in victoria right now devastating i mean if you've bought yourself an f45 or a fit stop or a jets or a who or whatever you'd just be sitting there going i wish yeah. the government would work out what they're doing and you know, people need to get out and be involved 
in training and the fact that you're getting calls right now for we need trainers i mean wait till victoria opens yeah. back up it's going to be incredible yep. absolutely and a, a, an interesting thing too is when we first kind of locked down a lot of pts were able to still train outside so again that's kind of made P- pts see hey i can kind of have this as a, as a bit of an option and then there was a massive swing towards doing online mm-hmm. uh, coaching or you know sessions via zoom out of the comfort of your home and i think pts again have gone wow well all of a sudden my market is not just my gym my market can be international yeah so you know the really savvy pts have started to grow their skills in different ways again not just coaching while someone's next to you how do i coach somebody through a computer to get a really great outcome for them and then again we've got this great new market that it's created for them with these people that Mm. like a lot of people feel weird and kind of nervous about going to a gym but if you can kind of say hey don't worry about it you can do it on your living room floor and i'll be with you all the way then it just all of a sudden the opportunities just seem quite limitless really Mm. and were you guys inundated by pts when COVID happened like gee i need to get out of my gym and be a little more focused do you have courses and programs around that were you able to to help in that way or is that something you guys are developing or i think uh we were, we were on the front foot yeah. and our ceo steve pettit put out to our our alumni and our database of, of graduates because we are also the australian fitness network as well which is the leading provider for continued education education yep <laughs> and, and and a part of that is uh we we gave access to help support our pt community yep. in, in the form of multiple free courses yeah, so nice. additional education to help support them in this time so we've been quiet isn't it great you can do that yeah or your ceo is giving you the ability to do that that's yeah, yeah. and it was it, you know it was a genuine no strings attached yep. we don't want anything out of this nope. other than to hopefully make people feel a, a little bit better and feel like, mm. feel like they've got something really great and productive to do with any potential extra time and then when they do get to go back into the gym they can be of better service to the people that they're looking after because the courses that we were offering for free were nutrition and business yeah. and yep. you know you know behavioral stuff so yeah it was it was a, it was a really lovely thing to do yeah, yeah genuinely great. from from it was asked to help support the industry and see what we can where we can help them that's amazing we, we turned on a lot of that type of thing as well mm-hmm. and just now you just get people coming back going i was so impressed with what you guys did in the beginning of covid and i can't thank you enough it's kept me on my journey it's doing the things i do obviously we talk at a different level of consumer to what you do you're talking somebody's training up we're talking to somebody who just wants to be trained <laughs> differently you know i'm like how do i take that what do i do how do i cook that what can i use that for those type of things like more how to use i suppose is the word to put not train so yeah that's a great thing that you did and that's why that's why you back yourself with people like yourself if you do want to take the journey to be a coach yeah absolutely yeah we're, we're all about trying to answer the needs of the industry as well as you know our mission is to create wor- warriors against sedentary death syndrome nice so, i like yeah. you say that again <laughs> our mission is to create warriors against sedentary death syndrome so that is awesome yeah yeah, yeah, which is, you know, the World Health Organization has said that that's the third, I mean, pre-COVID, mm. the third biggest contributor mm. to mortality in the world. Yeah. So, and the only the only way to fight that is with getting people more physically active. Yeah. So, that's kind of our driving force more than anything. And that's why it's not just about the course, it's about the career. It's about supporting through ongoing education. So, you're not just a PT for 18 months, you're a PT for life. As long as Simon and I have been. Yeah, that's a long <laughs> nice. time. And what's the investment to become a PT these days? You can answer, I can that, answer one. that one. It, it ranges. We want to make something that's comfortable and realistic for you in your situation. It's, it's going to work into your environment, where you're working, what you're doing, how long you want to study for. There's all different opportunities there. So there's okay. a range of different costs. And we have study loans as yeah. well, access to study yep. loans. Yeah, so we, we can make it affordable for people. Yep. Yeah, nice. So it's not it's not a there's not a lot of barriers to entry if I do want to become a trainer. It's quite simple to get started. Yeah, definitely. We want we've got a criteria that we want to make sure that we're getting out to the industry. So there are a lot of questions that we ask. Mm-hmm. We, we we'll try not to accept everybody. Yep. But we'll make sure that there's no discrimination to what's going on. But we want to make sure that we can get you in the right mindset, and get your qualification, get out there and start changing lives. Yeah, I know that part of me wanting to meet you was when my son said he wanted to go down the journey of becoming a a trainer. And and a coach and he didn't really want to go s and c style which is the sports style he wanted to be dealing with people and changing like he's a he's a he's a great kid 
he and I said, mate, he said, who should I go to? And I said, look, I'm not going to tell you who you should go to. I want you to pick who, and he picked you guys. Cool. Cool. So that's where I thought I need to actually reach out and meet yeah. and see what you're doing. And nothing but impressed since, like, you, you are really changing the industry. And I had no idea, I'll be truly honest. I knew who you were. I mean, everyone <laughs> yeah. knows your brand. But when you dig deep into the brand, there is a lot of depth. It's it's really interesting to see where you're going and what you're doing. And, and the way you're doing it, too, is incredible. Like, he has loved his course. That's so Great. awesome. That's, Good to hear that's great to hear. Yeah. I don't think you're giving him enough homework just quietly. <laughs> I can he change that. He's still, able to, he's still able to hit Saturday and Sunday nights easily enough. But mm-hmm. he's, yeah, he's. <laughs> We can load Slap him up. Load, yeah. out of that. <laughs> load him up. He's really enjoying it. And Good. the people that I talked to, like he's he's been working at 45. He's done a lot with some kids with disabilities recently. And the people just see him as a trainer and go, he has really got that touch. And that that look, that has to come from what he's learning from you. Like it it, it has to be reflected in what you're putting across to him. Yeah. Well, I hope so. That's definitely, you know, important to all of us in, mm. in the company and especially in the training team. It's it's an attitude, you know, it's mm. not just the skills. Anybody can learn the skills, but at the end of That's the day. That's so true what you just said then. Yeah. That is so true. Anybody can learn the skills. And at the end of the day, let's not forget that it's a service industry yeah. and we're there for people. But at the same time, I think we do a really unique thing of tapping into how in the, at the core of us as humans, we do want to serve and we do want to help. So it's just trying to kind of reframe the way that a lot of people come in to start their course. Often they just want to do it because they think, oh, I can be in the gym all day and I can just, <laughs> I can train and I'm really fit so I can, I can help. But the reality is you're often working with people that can't move their body well, that have chronic conditions, that are overweight, that are unmotivated. So all of that stuff, it can, can sometimes work against you if you're physically intimidated, intimidating looking sort of person, yep. you have to find a way to connect with people. So yeah, f- for us, it's really understanding the power of what it is to be a fitness professional and making people see that when they, when they join us. Nice. And I think that comes across in the coach's delivery and way that our, our sessions are delivered and our curriculum and everything that's in there and the way that's, yeah. It's done in class. It's phenomenal. Got a good team of coaches. Yeah, they're very passionate and mm. they want to make everybody feel the same way. And I think they push people. Like it's not an easy journey. Mm. I think it's really challenging people to to step outside their comfort zone and learn a lot of things because you do have to learn a lot of anatomy and you know a lot of guideline training guidelines and um, you know periodization philosophies and yeah you name it how to train kids how to train adults. There's lots there. So I think we really push people, but we also really power people at the same time so yeah and that's why you call your your trainers aren't just called pts are they they come out with a a title master Mm. trainer yeah some of them do yeah it is (laughs) again it's a criteria there are the you can tick the boxes or you can go above and beyond essentially that's what master trainer is and it's not it's not rocking up on time it's getting there five minutes early it's you know doing that extra thing to help support your client through what they're going through. That's the the true meaning of of a master trainer is going that above and beyond. It's not just ticking boxes. Yeah, absolutely. Today's podcast is brought to you by Hydroxyburn Shred Ultra, nootropic thermogenic. Shred Ultra is scientifically engineered to shred body fat, ignite metabolism and boost all day energy while enhancing cognitive performance, focus, clarity and mood. It combines powerful fat burning thermogenics, garcinia, green coffee bean, guarana, caffeine and an industry leading four grams of acetyl L-carnitine with potent nootropic ingredients at effective therapeutic doses to give you maximum results. And with the world wanting to be more educated, like personally, like self-science concepts, are you getting a lot of people joining your course just to for themselves, for their family health? Yeah, look, I say it, there'd be a smaller percentage of people that come on to the course that yeah. just for them self-development. I think we'll probably, I, I'm predicting we'll see a bit of a, a swing of mm. that. I think, again, a lot of people want to do it because they're passionate about it. And then when they see the rent of being a personal trainer in, in a gym, sometimes they're not quite ready to make mm. that leap from there their jobs. But I think, you know, once we can give them the skills in fitness coach, like our new certificate three, which is about going and doing, you know, doing the odd F45 or the group PT session that they can kind of just do in a park or something like that as well a a bit on the side, then I think that we'll see more of the fitness enthusiasts out there. And our fitness coach has got a group X built into it as well. It's it's got a dual specialization. It's the only certificate three that that has that. So you have the skills of group exercise as well as gym instructor. Okay. Yeah. 
which I think is a real unique kind of niche combination. Definitely. I think we'll see more people that are keen, love that group exercise environment and, and want to go down that path as a little bit of a passion project more than anything else. As I say, with group exercise, often you recruit the person from the front row of the class, makes your best group exercise instructor, but they may not want to do it all the time. Yep. I think that our, our new look program will probably see more people coming through like that. You look program. The, yeah, the f- fitness coach, which is just about to launch. Probably yes. by the time this comes out, it'll yes. be it'll be launched. Yeah, perfect timing. Yeah. yeah nice. We kind of took the opportunity. Uh, I mean, we were doing it anyway, but again, COVID's created this weird opportunity where we did have a little bit more human resource to be able to uh, refresh and renew our master trainer offering. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. We could kind of see that the industry was heading down this path of, again, that unique combination of group exercise and gym instructor. So you're wanting this kind of skill set where people can motivate and look up after a group, but then quickly be able to go and correct form and technique uh, on a one-on-one in a one-on-one capacity. So we could saw this kind of uh, opportunity to just yeah, just refine our offering a little bit to meet the needs of industry. Nice. Yeah. And something I should mention, people too, is that you're not just creating PTs, are you? You've got quite a few courses that people can look at. Yeah, definitely. Massage is a big one. Yeah. We both we actually both did our massage qualification together, yeah. didn't we? Yeah. Both PT background. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then I opened my mind up uh, similar to charge and training you he yeah. just likes to beat you up yep. and see how how much pain he can put you through uh i definitely <laughs> change yeah that. well you would you would i wish you'd go and do massage uh, there you go but no definitely there's more anatomy physiology and more science behind the massage side of things mm-hmm. and it changed my mindset as a trainer okay um, massage is a huge huge opportunity out there and and, and w- we need more massage therapists absolutely the, the uh, abundance yeah is and, huge and the cool thing about you know i think what happens when people do massage with us they kind of go into it thinking oh, i'll just do it as an add-on to potentially make more money or serve my clients better but then they love it because mm. it's just it is you know a pt session you tend to people are hurting at the end of it and they may not love you very much but <laughs> a good massage they are like oh thank you loving you yeah. so much so yeah. i think they kind of get that immediate feedback and validation from what they have to offer which is great but again from a financial perspective as a pt and i know I, you know when i first started i struggled with this you had a client that's unwell or, or injured you don't see them for a few weeks. Whereas as a massage therapist, you can be like, hey, still come in, have your massage, keep them in the routine, keep them motivated, have the opportunity to interact with them to keep them on track with their health in general. And then, yeah, potentially offer both services when, when in times that they're well. So yeah, it really does just kind of create that multi-skilled personal trainer, which we believe is the key to it's longevity the in the yep. in the industry. As yeah. well as additional, you know, business, fitness business <laughs> and nutrition coach. Yeah. Uh, additional things, the more skills that you have, the more you're ability to earn more as a value proposition becomes higher. So. Uh, yeah, I think it opens you up to physio clinics and a lot yep. more than being tied to gyms. Not that we don't want to be tied to gyms, but it gives you the opportunity to look beyond the standard gym, doesn't it? To yep. build your relationship, build your business and work together. Absolutely, yep. yeah. And so much of what we teach in Master Trainer is, again, that ability to interact with allied health professionals. Absolutely. So know how to really effectively screen your clients so when they have to go and see uh, another health specialist, then they can. And then also also, when you receive that information back, how do I interpret it and write a program that's going to be safe and effective? And so I think the more we can get people thinking how the body moves and recovers, how, you know, what you fuel the body with is is better. And then from a business perspective, how do I actually communicate that to people? How do I transfer the the value mm. that I have? Nice. And, and what's the time commitment to massage? 12 months. Just asking for a friend. For, uh, <laughs> I'm sure we can work out that friend. That's fine. Uh, 12 months for your full diploma. 12 months? Yeah. Yep. So it's a full diploma? Yep. Nice. Mm. You, you can do a certificate so, four. That's about half of that. But we tend to find people, again, they, they think they're just going to do the cert four and they get into it and love it so much and they want to get the diploma because yeah. the diploma comes with uh, private health fund rebates as well. Which is what you need if you're going to do it seriously, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yep. That's awesome. So what are, what else are we adding and what are we doing? As you in, didn't. You guys just acquired Network? Uh, we've had it for a, for a couple of years. The, well, well, the, one of the original owners of of the AAF, Nigel Champion, who's yep. again one of the legends of the fitness industry, mm-hmm. he gave birth to Network, and he yep. owns Network. So yeah, we've we've kind of had it as a sister company forever, but uh, it's really only been the last yeah four or five years that we've really taken it under our our wing. And yeah, we re- we've got some very exciting mm. things in the not too distant future that we're really investing into it. And, oh, super excited about that stuff! Yeah, yes. and like we said before, just really starting to see that um, it's not just the qualification that's important. Important. It's the ongoing professional that development. Is so needed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. especially in, I mean, I guess in all industries, really. 
you know, I think, you know, with nutrition, things are changing on the daily. Absolutely. Um, definitely health and fitness. It's yep. about keeping keeping the sword sharp, which is what we're all about. So outside of training and massage, what other qualifications can we get with yourselves or what other, what's the word I would use? Because I, I know you've got arms, like you could do a nutrition arm or you can do a, yep. what, where else can we play? We've got our, our industry partnerships. Yep. So people that we've got on board, like our Functional Training Institute, doing, yep. doing additional courses, kettlebells, bags, ropes, those sorts of things. Nice. Boxing qualifications. Okay. Uh, so again, that multi-school training that we've heard us say a few times over, mm. you can go down being a, a jack of all trades or you can do a specialization. So say you're interested in kids and yeah. wanted to train kids, you could go down and do additional education on that as nice. well. So we've got multi-different and levels of what we can educate people in. Sorry, I feel like I keep talking over you. You do. Again, <laughs> you're the celebrity here. So I just, as you're talking, I thought of two really exciting partnerships that we have. One is online training academy which is this great global company that we've teamed up with again just kind of making sure that we're recognizing the unique skill set around being an online trainer and certainly COVID times has really made us see how important that is as well as what a massive opportunity that is to personal trainers so uh, we're definitely bringing that to the table and then Les Mills is probably yeah, one of one. our bigger bigger partners I just did my Les Mills mm-hmm. RPM instructor training on the weekend and it was incredible and I could I, I think they're a great match for us because they're all about quality and holding the standard really high. So I think that group exercise path is is another one there. Or again, I think a great, well-rounded, multi-skilled personal trainer is just going to have more fun and have more success in their career if not every day is just 15 PT sessions sessions. back to back. It's about actually, hey, I can go and teach a class. I can do a nutrition consultation. I can do a few PT sessions. Do a massage. Do a massage. Yeah, Yeah, it just all of a sudden makes your career a little bit more engaging as well. You guys are really uh, front-footing. Definitely trying to be as innovative innovative as possible. Is nice. that even a word? Yeah, that's, no, that's working for me. <laughs> so look, I just want to ask the question straight out. If we've got some young people that want to join the industry, why should they join you? Ooh, <laughs> that's a good question. Uh, I'm biased heavily because <laughs> I did my qualification many, many years ago. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I don't have my blinders on when, you, when you're knowing how a business works. Yeah. So again, as I've said before, you can learn as many squats, as many lunges, whatever you want to do, and you can be great at that. But if you don't understand how a business works and understand that the industry itself, you have to work. It's not get out there, be a, go into a gym and expect the world to fall at your feet. I think the biggest benefit to coming on board with the AIF is the support that you get. You get exposed to multiple different things out there in the industry. So everyone from career partnerships to um, we hold a fire night, which is a fitness industry recruitment evening around the whole country. But I think the the, the way that it, the course is delivered, the coaches and the support and knowing what to expect out there in the, in the industry and removing your blinders and going, right, this is what I'm going to expect. Mm-hmm. And I think with our our careers gurus when they deliver that when you have your first initial consultation with us is 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 mapping all that out it's not here's your qualification yeah away you go it's right this is what you're going to get you're going to get through your qualification you're going to be exposed to these different things this will show you what to do and what not to do you're going to take on board the things that you really really like dispose of the things you don't really really like but the biggest thing is you're going to get exposure to as much as you can so i think knowing that and again being biased but opening up those opportunities to know what to expect you know when you get a, a university degree you may be exposed to these things, but you don't know what you're going to get by the end Absolutely, of it. Absolutely. Yeah. With this and this qualification and the AIF, you know what you're going to expect because you be ex- exposed to it the whole time through your course. Nice. So obviously I'm in. So just before we finish, who are some of the bigger employers that are you working with now in the industry? Because obviously they're going to come, like you said, they're, they're, where's the PTs? We need the PTs. Yeah. Who are the big um, employers that are doing the right thing in the industry that you love being partnered with? You can have a crack and then I can go after you. Well, Fitness First. Fitness First or yeah. the FLG group, yeah, the FLG. Fitness Lifestyle yeah. group, which yeah. encompasses Fitness First, Good Life, Jets, Zap and Barry's, I'm pretty sure. Yep. So there's a big group there. Big That's group. a great organization. Um, yeah. Great. They're, they're doing some big stuff. Um, we're supporting them in Victoria as much as we possibly can with support, with great. ongoing education. Those guys, uh, the big players at the moment who are really uh, growing, FitStop, F45's um, definitely peaking up there as well. Yeah. Orange, Orange Theory oh. Fitness. Yeah, Orange Theory has come from the States and is doing really, really well. Yeah. Anytime is always up there. So there's so much opportunity. Oh, yeah. 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 That, that, they're just the kind of known brand 
brands as well. There's a lot yep. of kind of solo op- op- yeah. operators that we have great partnerships as well. Yep. I think that's a cool thing too about what we do. We, we kind of, during your course, we present you with a range of different options that are out there and we kind of just guide you to find what fits the best. Yeah. We also have a trainer experience yeah. at the, the, at the end of our master trainer where you go out and you actually have some practical placement and we really encourage our students to try a few different things on and kind of treat that almost as like a six-week job interview. You only have to do 30 hours, but we have people coming back that have done 100, mm. 120, and they're like, hey, I've got PT clients ready to go by the end of it. So yeah, that's great. it's again just I think we have this approach that's about we're going to hold your hand before we kind of let you go, and then even when you go, we're still here for, for you via via network. So, yeah, and I think it's just just growing the people that we're involved with really. Mm. And it's just additional support, as I've said it 100 times, but, you know, you have to have your first aid and your CPR refreshed every year. It's yep. giving the, our trainers that opportunity to come back and do that. All our career partners, your big gyms and those sorts of things, you know, they have to have it. Part of their qualification Absolutely. they have to do it. So yeah. why not come back to the place we got the first time? So. Yeah, nice. And our first aid has like cool pictures in gyms and things like yeah. that as opposed to, <laughs> you know, yeah. random places. Yeah. <laughs> That's gold. So if somebody wants to inquire, what's the web address? Fitness.edu.au. <laughs> or 1300 669 That's a good number. You must have got that really early. <laughs> it's been around <laughs> for a while. Oh, yeah. 1979. That's awesome. That's yep. awesome. So it's great to see a nine, as you said, a 1979 Australian fitness success story. On, and I don't think many people would actually know that was Tell how long now. you've been in the industry for. You know, they talk about us being in it forever. You, you smashed us. Right. That's yeah. amazing. The, the, f- the first, the fitness leader, the first certification in the fitness industry came out of uh, Nigel and Greg, who, mm. you know, who were the, the the people that kicked off the AIF, yeah, back in 1979. Yeah. They would have been smashing walls down then too, trying to prove to people they should get qualified. Like that would have been some hard yards. Yeah. Yeah, there was yeah. a lot of lycra and aerobics. <laughs> there was. Yeah. There. Yeah, there was a very different type of trainer back yeah. then, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, that's gold. But we might wrap that up there. If anybody is looking to, become a trainer I'm going to tell you just from my heart my son's doing it he loves it jump on the website do you want to tell us that website again fitness.edu.au if you can't remember that you (laughs) need to stop drinking and start training more (laughs) anyway guys uh, thanks for coming on board that was great it was really nice to catch up thank you Greg and really looking forward to what we've been talking about doing together too I think it's going to be exciting yeah thanks today's podcast was brought to you by our partners in fit happy and healthy ASN nutrition warehouse DY discount vitamins fat burners only Evelyn Fay Mr. Supplement or find a retailer online at bodyscience.com.au forward slash retailers.